my name is Gaš Program, and I'm from Slovenia, and I'm a looping artist. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what first got you into beatboxing or looping, and what made you keep doing it? Uh, my first video I saw of beatboxing was uh, Pulpo, like Billie Jean. So this is like this got me into solo beatboxing, and I was just like experimenting, doing just simple sounds, just like I didn't saw any tutorial. So I was just like what I learned by myself. So then for the looping, I saw uh, Tom Tom. Uh, loop, loop, loop station video, and yeah, I was just like, oh, this is so nice. I, I would like to do that, but I couldn't find. I was searching. I remember like Google for two hours, say, and I couldn't find which device he's using. <laughs> so, and I was like, oh, okay, I gave up. So, but later I found like Swiss Beatbox channel, mm. and I saw this RC55. So I was just like, uh, I bought it, and then also I saw on Swiss Beatbox channel that there's a World Beatbox Camp 2018. So I also went there, but I didn't know any professional beatboxer. Mm. That was so weird because people were like, how uh, how you cannot know who is Rips One? And I was like, Rips One, who? <laughs> <laughs> so also, Sick. I just knew it's just, I know Napalm and Sarah and that's it. Wow. Like, and there were so many, and even you were there, yeah. I remember, yeah. 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 So Funny, it was man. fun, yeah. <laughs> and I learned like really a lot of tricks yeah, from yeah. there. So I also went a little bit on stage just to do some stuff, but I really sucked by then. So and yeah, you kept practicing, and now you're at GVB. So there yeah, you go. I accidentally came here. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. So, well, that leads on to the next question. What made you want to start competing professionally, or at a professional level? And what makes you what made you want to compete specifically at GBB Twenty One? I didn't plan to compete, but I went like to GBB Two Thousand Nineteen. And I was just like really inspired by old loop station artists. I was like big balance fan. I I was just like shocked by rhythm and routines and inky. So then I was like, okay, I need to take some lessons just to explore more about loop station because I didn't know many tricks. I thought that I know everything about loop station, but I knew just like 10%. Yeah. So uh, yeah, then I had had lessons with enemy and inky, and they taught me some tricks and. Yeah, then I invented the trumpet mm. <laughs> and also made like this tr drop, which is really was really hard. So I was just like yeah. jumping at my home and my parents were just like, what the fuck is this <laughs> kid doing? <laughs> yeah, but, so, it, but it got you into GBB. So yeah, it got go. me to the G works. GBB. And then I was just like, OK, let me go to also try all other competitions. And like on the last day, I made like a joke routine, Calamaria, which is basically <laughs> calamari you know yeah. with food <laughs> and i was just joking around and i got also in this uh, florida beatbox battle yeah, so of course. <laughs> there you go uh, yeah, maybe so that's the future of doing it who knows what is the best part of competing at gbb for you do you think i think like when competing against people who i was like big fanboy of them so but also yeah that is here, like in Poland, because I've been also before in Poland nice. many times. So. so it's good to be back. Yeah. And how you did know. you prepare specifically for the competition this year and for how long? I mean, I got selected in 2019, so this is quite long, but because of Corona and everything changed and like GBB getting postponed, I kind of lost uh, interest in looping that. So I didn't loop that much in the last year. So it was just like, five to ten minutes a week so it wasn't much so I didn't prepare much for the GBB but I said that I would regret if I wouldn't go to the GBB so like some people would die just to be on this stage now I'm like here okay deciding whether to be there or not but I said to myself okay I would regret so I'm just gonna take this opportunity and make the best out of it sick man yeah I'm excited to see you on on the stage yeah. and um, as a as a beatboxer performer what do you normally do to impress a crowd when you perform and will this change for when you perform on the GBB stage I mean I really put a lot of effort into making like surprise drops and really hard drops so that's I think my key to surprise people and to cheer the crowd but we'll try to do also other things like I, I will try to do some festival vibes, like Tomorrowland vibes, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm normally not such a, 
extrovert person, so I normally when I perform just look in the loop station, but I will try to look also at the crowd. But I'm gonna be like nervous as fuck because like the biggest crowd so far we've been performing is like 50 people. So it's n now it's gonna be like a few thousand. I'm gonna be like, oh. <laughs> I think you're gonna have fun, man. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have fun. And um, okay, so in terms of practicing, how do you try to enjoy yourself while you are practicing or rehearsing? And how do you come up with new routines for, for GBB? Uh, like for the new routines, I always listen to music. I, lo I make like, I go to some playlists, uh, Spotify suggests me and I just listen to mus new music and I get some inspiration. Oh, this part could be good on loop station. I could, it's really simple to make and I can make it. And then I try it, it's, I work it that way. I also like for my, um, for my GBB wildcard, I like analyzed really a lot, like the tempo, which tempo uh, affects like people the most. Uh, like um, I also analyzed like the bass and everything. I went really into details. So when I listen, I just focus on one thing, like, okay, how is bass line structured? And then I try to recreate how is melody, try to recreate it. And by that, like I get some ideas, ideas, and then I put them together into one routine. But how I try to enjoy it's just like uh, if you want to enjoy in looping, you shouldn't have pressure. Like, oh shit, I need to prepare six routines for the GPB. Uh, what should I do? And I'm have, like running out of time and everything. So in this case, you cannot enjoy. You enjoy when you do music you like. You enjoy when you are not pressured, when you just enjoy like exploring loop station, like, like making music. So. Yeah, man, totally. I think you're you're exactly right. You can only, if you're trying to make yourself enjoy it, then you're not really enjoying it. So yeah. you have to let it. Yeah, man. And um, what would you say is your number one tip or best advice to all beatboxers or, or loopers uh, when it comes to putting on a good show or a good performance? I mean, uh, it depends. I mean, the best tip I would give to others is just, do music you like. If you're gonna do music just for a crowd, you're gonna enjoy. You're not gonna enjoy it. You're not gonna love what you do, and you're gonna quit really quick. So, if you're gonna do like this music you like, it's gonna be the key to success. And it doesn't matter if the crowd likes it or not. The point is that you like it, and when you're gonna like it, you'll add your uniqueness to the your style. So yeah, man, sick. It's good advice. I like that. And um, so besides performing on the GBB stage and performing in front of beatboxes, where would you where would you most like to perform or do you perform? And what is like a dream place you'd like to play at? So festivals or corporate shows or would you like to do teaching? What's I mean, you... definitely would be good to perform at Tomorrowland. <laughs> yeah, it would be really good Sick. to brought like looping to this stage. But we'll see. I mean. I just have just few small gigs, but that's it. Yeah, Not I don't perform that much, so. But where would you, what's your, what's your goal? So Tomorrowland, so festivals. Yeah, like... mostly festivals. Like that would be like, oh, awesome, <laughs> because you also have like people who are like vibing with you, with you like your style. And... Yeah, sick. I think you'd. Uh, I'd love to see you perform at Tomorrowland. Yeah. <laughs> you'd suit that stage for sure. And uh, in your opinion, where do you see beatboxing going in the next couple of years or oh, looping? Where, where do you see? I see think solo beatboxing is going to go like we are reaching like the limits what we can find with sounds. So we are not having now um, more like uniqueness of the sound. So, for example, v uh, Vukoda has one sound, Biart has one sound. We are currently at this stage, but in the future, it's gonna be more like how you compose simplicity and having like minimal, really clean, like Stitch is uh, wildcard was a perfect example what's gonna be in the future. It's like just simplicity and it's really nice to hear, just pleasant to listen. Mm -hmm. Six. Yeah, man, it's... Uh... But for, from looping perspective, I think it's gonna split like in two directions because if we wanna stick to the beatbox looping, we shouldn't allow that many uh, features of the second devices because now you can just program a second device that it does melody when you do a delay. And it just like, 
you do a delay press and you have like whole fucking melody but it has to be like the key that you do the melody like each note yourself so that's the key of beatboxing and that will also surprise the crowd like oh how I do that with beatboxing but if you just like do kick leave delay and press it people will be ah he's he has he has this pre-recorded so when if we want to impress more people we need to just stick to include beatboxing into the looping not just for basic drums mm. but also for other parts yeah man it's a good perspective i like and i totally agree <laughs> okay right finally we're going to do some rapid fire quick questions so who is your favorite current solo beatboxer solo beatboxer i would i really like max max and who is your favorite loop station artist uh a dice who do you most want to battle at this year's gbb if you get to the battles dice who do you not want to battle dice <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is your favorite food oh you got me <laughs> everything my favorite food uh you probably don't know, but it's Zlinkrofi, it's one Slovenian food. Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked word. Thank you. Finally, please tell the people where they can find you and follow and support you online. They can find me on Instagram or YouTube, but I don't do much social media, so I will try to post content, but I, I'm not a man for a social media, so... Yeah. And what's your handle, Gaspar Grom? Uh, yeah, my handle on Instagram is Gaspar Grom and also on uh, YouTube, so... Perfect. All right, bro. Thank you so much. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content.